Welcome back. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Uh, take a seat or stand, make yourself comfortable. What I have to show you is of the utmost importance and can't wait a second long. You see before you perhaps the most prodigious discovery known to the metaphysical science community. Look familiar? It's the first, and I mean very first, edition of Tobin's Spirit Guide. The holy grail of supernatural nice. encyclopedia. I finally tracked this down a week ago, and it just arrived. Yes. I had to overnight it from... <laughs> it's best you don't know. Now, I can't deny that my possession of such an extraordinary artifact does naturally provoke questions as to how and where I got it. Uh, it's no secret that Tobin is a hero of mine. Throughout Ghostbusters operations, the Spirit Guide has been our de facto resource. Even now, over a hundred years since its first publication, it remains the most respected compendium in the paranormal investigative medium. No other researcher, metaphysician, or common raving supernatural obsessed maniac has gone to the lengths that Tobin did to chronicle that which is not of this world. Although some might say, given his sordid later life, perhaps he went too far. Like Tobin, I too fell down a rabbit hole at a young age. This mildewed tome has been my elusive golden goose, my singular vice and obsession. I paid a great deal of money Winston's money to some questionable individuals who have scoured the farthest reaches and risked countless perils to find it. It turns out is my it girl. was right under Tobin's nose all along. Literally. It was found in his coffin, resting on his now concave chest. John Horace Tobin had his spirit guide buried with Here, a keepsake from your first occult book acquisition. Never forget this moment, kid. It's a big one. Okay. This is fucking cool as shit, man. You there? Yes, you. Tremble in trepidation, for before you I stand, the magnanimous purveyor of the paranormal, leading scholar on the supernatural, once known in another dimension long ago as John Horace Tobin. I have shed my mortal coil and appear to you now, lost spirit, as the gatekeeper between the world of the living and what lies beyond. Behold. This is fucking cool as shit, man. This is so cool as shit. Behold! Oh, bugger. Give us a sec. Today is not your finest day, ghosty, but it is your luckiest. <coughs> Look to me from here as your guide to what exists beyond existence. Fear not the eternal darkness, for I shall light the lamppost which illuminates your passage. Follow the interminable horizon of the shadowy plane. Hey, come back here. Come Release back here. your forsaken go. soul all right. from all worldly Listen. ties, for Wait, Dick. Yeah. Well, you're not bloody dead, are you? Then what in the name of Saint Stephen are you doing here? Look, I haven't the foggiest how you fumbled your way into this realm, nor do I care. Despite your spectral facade, you don't belong here, and quite frankly, you look ridiculous. I 
and that's coming from a talking ledger. Evidently, the fates have a piss-poor sense of comedy. Well, this certainly puts a spanner in the works. My assigned duty is to serve as mediator for the recently deceased again, and not you. I take the dead, teach them the ropes, so to speak, and send them on their hauntings. Oh, but perhaps... Yes. Y y yes, Ghosty! I've got it! There is a metaphysical mischief to be done, and I find no reason why you shan't be privy to the delights. Lord knows I've had some time to kill in this place, and picked up a few pointers. No better way to immerse oneself into the headspace of a spectre. A rambunctious excursion into the world of the living is the like long-winded mugger action from a purgatorial eternity. What say you? Want to spook some meat puppets? The ghost room. Welcome to the ghost room in your new ectoplasm form. Ghost name. This ghost name is Winky, and he is electric. And he is an electric plastic type. A, the perfect for you to learn the basics of haunting. Now, before we begin. Your Before we begin your first haunting, wow, I was ter I'm was i terrible at reading out loud. Fly around the ghost room <laughs> to learn the basics of the ghost movements. Uh, look around. First, you need to find your footing. A figure of speech, of course, because as you've probably noticed, you haven't got any feet. <laughs> Get a feel. Well done, ghosty. Say, are you a quick learner or have you been dead before? Well, never mind it. See the giant schism in the sky over there. That is a rift! Once you enter, you'll be transported to your very first haunt. So, make haste! Knew one of these already? Welcome to my garden of otherworldly delights! A job's a job, and yours is to terrorize and torment. So, get in and let's get cracking. <laughs> What's different gameplay style than Ghostbusters? So, let Tobin guide you through some ghostly basics. As a ghost, the objective is to fully haunt a building without getting busted. Your ghost, but your ghost is busted when you're trapped in no remaining rifts. So keep the rifts safe. Before we go into the stairs, really yeah, let's see his ghost ability. Let's just go and start by trying all of his Winkies. Why well, I wouldn't say whiskies. Winkies abilities. Some of those abilities standard. Standard all across ghost types, but some unique specific types. In a bevy of charms and abilities reside at your disposal with which you may scare and wreak havoc. Conserve if you can, Ghosty, for your psychokinetic energy is a precious commodity. You must cool down periodically, or your powers will not work, including your ectovision. A Ghosty's most important resource is psychokinetic energy. Use it wisely. It'll take a bit of time to get the old juices flowing again once you've run out, so be mindful of draining your energy. Keep one eye on your meter, and you won't get caught on a full moon with your knickers down. Savvy? Can't go through there? Thank you. 
looking at it. So flying around, like looking up and down, that's gonna get yeah, interesting whenever I need to fucking. Is there no like run? Okay. Can I just? Is there like no? Is there no like? I wish there was like a, a drop button, like a jump button. You know. I do like this. Uh, possess. Can I move this around? Oh, really? Boingy. Never underestimate the rewards of cowardice. Behold! All around you is a world of possessibility. Use every object you can to duck, dodge, and wait for the perfect opportunity to spring your spectral trap oh. on the unsuspecting living. If one of those egregious ghost hunters is nearby, possess an object to hide. While your energy recharges inside a possessable object, be wary. Your recharge rate will suffer if you move the object. Why don't you try... One of the more invigorating features in your cabinet of curiosities oh, okay. is the ability to phase. You'll be flying at high speeds from one end of the map to the other before you can say Jack Robinson, who I met. Jack by Robinson. Blown out bulb, if you ask me. There are several phase portals inside each match that will allow you to pass through the impassable, like that wall, or a different wall, mostly walls. <laughs> or if it takes your fancy, try it on some of the plebs and busters. <laughs> you should see it, matey. The look on their faces. Brilliant. So how do I... So how do I face? Uh. Okay. Respawning from cliffs is key, so pay attention. If a ruddy ghostbuster gets you by the gills while a rift is active, you will respawn at the rift. However, this destroys the damn thing from further use. There are three rifts available to you hidden inside us. A full location haunting starts with teeny tiny baby steps. Try individually haunting different rooms to increase your power, allowing for faster energy regeneration. Civvies and busters alike are easily scared in these predicaments, and if you see a floating brolly, that's because objects in these rooms begin haunting themselves, in turn creating a diversion, allowing you, ghosty, to hide. You can actively haunt objects too, but why waste the energy, I say?
All right, all right, enough preamble. Let's get to the good stuff. Horrification. As an otherworldly, albeit temporary spirit, you are denied so many earthly pleasures. Therefore, we must fill the void with other exquisite delights. That's right. Scaring the pants of anything that moves. Am I just hearing Try it and let me know how it goes. <laughs> Okay, there's my speed burst. Swing, 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 flying, flying. Hey, how you guys doing? Oh, am I over here? Let me see my over here. Here we go, boing, boing, boing. Someone there. I'd be flipping. Someone there? Oh God! Is a strong offense, or is it the other way around? Either way, these next two tricks will be sure to send more than a shock up the trousers of those banal busters. You see the silly satchels they carry upon their backs. Why don't you try sneaking up behind them? A well-timed ectoplasmic burst will sabotage their equipment, giving you, little ghosty, an opening to escape. Or better yet, Warren, face to face, where everyone I love ectoplasm and everything to do with it, the living can't stand it. Literally, cover them with enough and they won't be able to stand at all. Oh no! What's this? You've become ensnared by the power of the dreaded electric lasso. Then you must fight your way out. Use your ability should you see no other option. But I counsel you to flee. Beware their tethers will create great resistance, so fight. Fight, damn you, against the fool. And you... If, God forbid, you are pulled well, to the final ghost trap field, it's curtains for you. Almost. You will have a brief moment to try and free yourself, but lo, you have painted a target on your backside, Ghosty. All subsequent trappings will be harder to break free from. Now, Ghosty, 
should you, despite all maneuverings, be seized in the final fatal capture, find your way back to me, so that I might imbue you with the power to haunt once more. Uh-oh. Got scene time. Temporello. Whoa, kid. You still with us? You look like you saw a ghost. I know it's the job, but still, you look scorched. Call me delusional, but uh, I wager there's more to this book than meets the eye. But don't worry. Oh, yeah. You and I are going to figure it out. Anyway, we best head back to the firehouse for now. Congratulations! Great job, you completed all tutorials for Ghostbuster Spirit Unleashed. You now have full access to to the Ghost Realm. Just uh, come to Ray, interact with Tobins to send you back in. On um, Ghost Realm, you can unlock and customize your ghost, talk to Tobin, and enter matches the same as you would do. Jump down. <laughs> Locked here. You. Ah, rookie. You're a pretty big fan of the Busters, aren't you? Did you know that Egon has a granddaughter? Her name's Phoebe. And let me tell you, this kid is just the best. If she ever stops by the firehouse, you gotta meet her. And she actually told me this joke the other day. Why did the dentist go bungee jumping? To have a brush with death. <laughs> Cracks me up every time. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Hey, what's up, Tobes? What's up, Tobes? What's up, Tobes? Let's see. Choose a ghost. No, I can't. Of course I can't change his color. Why could I be able to change his color? That'd be silly. Oh, could I get slimies? Oh, I can get slimies. Slimers? The haunt begins. Let's petrify the pants off them. Oh, okay, so I'll play one. I'll play a game as as Ghosty Ghost. Here comes the trap. Something 
Only two lifts remain, ghosty. Look sharp. What? Hello? Standard ectoplasmic exorcism. I, I don't trust that. <laughs> Leave me alone. Guy over there. That's it for you. We but came, at least we had a we bit of fun, didn't we? we? Kicked its ass. 